comfortably in your lap. Kind of close your eyes gently. Just sit up nice and tall. Imagine like a fine tooth comb just gently combing through the inside of your body. I'm so glad I took the time today to take a few minutes to myself and just do a little yoga practice. I did a vinyasa flow. It really helped me just get grounded and kind of just take a break from the busy day. Take a few minutes to just be a little more mindful and maybe go on a walk or go outside even and just sit and enjoy the sunlight. Or you can even do a few yoga poses. That's what I chose to do today and I feel amazing. As you guys know, I'm trying to be more mindful and more active and being active doesn't mean you have to go run a 6K marathon. Being active just means you're doing something to get your body engaged and moving. And so even if you take 15, 10, 5, 30, an hour, whatever time you have to spare, just use it wisely. Maybe don't spend your time so much on Instagram and Twitter, even though I have no room to talk because that's all I do. If you have any time to spare, just maybe try being active or doing something physical. Just get your body moving because we're so stuck in these sedentary lifestyles where we're just sitting stagnant in one place and we're not really moving. So, you know, if you have, if you have some time, I really suggest doing something Something active even if it's for just five minutes or even as simple as going outside to sit you know it's still doing something to get your mind and body disconnected from the digital world and it gives yourself a chance to reconnect with your body and your mind and your third eye here I go being all spiritual again it is important and it's something that we're definitely lacking these days and it's become more known to me now and I think I could really help especially those of us that struggle with mental health if you're somebody who tends to have not the greatest mental health or if you're prone to seasonal depression I would really suggest being more mindful and maybe start meditating and working out a little bit more to combat seasonal depression because I'm somebody who suffers from seasonal depression thankfully I didn't get it last year that's like the first time ever in my life where I didn't have it and I was being more active and more mindful so I'm doing that again this year and we will see what happens but yeah guys we need to fight seasonal depression one meditation one yoga session one workout at a time okay we can do this together we will defeat seasonal depression because that hoe got hands okay that hoe really got some hands and it's not cute Okay, I'm just saying. This is the yoga video I was working off of on YouTube. 20 minute everyday vinyasa flow yoga class from Lululemon. I haven't done yoga in so long, so I was kind of struggling and my, my, my bones and stuff were not cooperating with me. But nonetheless, it wasn't anything too crazy. Plan now is to get back to work because I'm currently on my lunch break and I think it's about to end soon. Blech. 
but you know i'm gonna get back to work i'm gonna possibly i'm gonna be filming a haul video later on today i already filmed like the try on portion of the haul i just need to film like me talking about everything in an intro and outro all right it's time to go back to work by the way i work from home i'm not gonna go to work like this <laughs> Trust me, I work from home, it's okay. Um, them Zoom meetings though be kicking my butt, just saying. Especially the impromptu Zoom meetings. I'm like, do we really have to do this right now when I have like a face mask on and like pajamas? But hey, those are the perks of working from home. I can do like 10 things at one and nobody even has to know unless they're watching this video. And if you are watching this video and you're my employer, Mind your business, get back to work, thank you. For lunch today, I have a giant bowl of lentil soup with lots of veggies. There's like zucchini, spinach, corn, carrots, basically everything that was about to go bad in my fridge, I just cut up and put in here, but it's so good. And I'm about to devour. Eventually. I just got out of the shower. I'm so sorry about this lighting. Um, by the way, I always spray perfume as soon as I get out of the shower. And today's perfume is Burberry Body. This has become my new signature scent. I only just got this maybe a couple weeks ago. And look how much I already used of it. Like, I'm obsessed. This smells so freaking good. This smells like, this smells like sparkling white diamonds by Elizabeth Taylor, but like more expensive, like more perfumey. You know, anyways, that's besides the point. I just wanted to show you that. Like I said, I just got out of the shower and I filmed two videos today. One of which was really like fulfilling for me. I'm not sure when you'll see it. It's basically a video about my experience being a small YouTuber. I'm not sure if you'll see that before or after this video. Yeah, I got really candid and like really intimate in that video. I even started feeling like a little emotional throughout it because I don't I don't know why. Lately I've just been so overcome with feelings of gratitude and like fulfillment and I don't know I've just feel I've been feeling very okay lately and I'm kind of going through like a like spiritual transformation I don't know I've just been very like taking each day one day at a time and I don't know why just talking about being a youtuber was just like bringing me feelings of gratitude and like fulfillment and so I got like a little emo in the video but yeah, I just wanted to like, you'll see in the video what I talk about, but I just, it's been weighing really heavy on my mind and I wanted to help, you know, other people out there that are in the same position as, as I am right now, being a small YouTuber or even somebody who hasn't started yet. I just wanted to offer my perspective on what it's like being a small YouTuber because I know it can get tough, you know, when you're first starting out and you're not really seeing the engagement or the views you want to see, but I just, um went into detail about how I feel and what it's like being a small YouTuber. So if you are interested in that video, make sure to watch it. If I already filmed it, I'll link it in the cards. And if I haven't, be on the lookout for that because I think we always hear those types of videos coming from the big YouTuber's perspective. Like, oh, this is what, what my, it was like for me becoming a YouTuber. But you rarely ever see what it's like from the other side when you like haven't seen the crazy success that these big youtubers have seen but yeah i just um i had a lot like i i really enjoyed that video it felt very personal i mean i always try to be very personal in all my videos but that video just really made me feel good like i felt very uplifted after filming it i don't know if it's because i've been more like spiritual these days or whatnot but i just i don't know i feel like a large sense of gratitude and i feel like i have lots of things that are weighing heavy on my heart that i want to share to the world because i just feel like it'll resonate with somebody so if you see more personal videos coming in the future which you definitely will that's why now i'm gonna go make some dinner because i'm starving Happy birthday to me! 
Ontario <laughs> queen. Okay, so now I know right. girls night out get yes. a small purse. Girls night out is for small purses. Mom <laughs> is not hip to the small, small purse. Small purses if you can. She is not I hip have one. to the I small have. black purse trend, but we're working on it. Gang gang. Gang gang. Yes. So we are heading to our destination. We're going on a little dinner cruise. We got a drink in our system. We're feeling good, ladies. Mom, the birthday girl got three. Yes, mommy got three drinks. We're just getting started. Yes, this city is not ready for us. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period, poo. Oh, I guess if it's like your anniversary or something, they get they give you champagne and roses. Romantic. Yeah. Uh -huh. 